Hey guys, welcome back. Cloud here from Black Log Gaming. We're back again with Resident Evil 2. I just want to show you guys a quick thing here. I was able to... Oh, to get this film... Oh, audio went crazy there. I was able to get that film there. Sorry, I was just checking the audio. The game was just going weird. Um, that film there I was able to get from this desk right here. Now, when you search it, it's going to say it's trash. Someone must have searched a desk. And then you're going to get this message over and over and over again. Now, you have to probably search it about 10, 12 times to get that film there. Then you're able to actually get it. And then you can continue on with what you're doing. So, bye, Claire. We'll leave you here as we head out. So, thank you guys again. Thank you guys again for watching. We're on to part two. So, oh, hi, bye. So, I'm just going to head on down to that boxing. I'm going to go store this stuff. Do we have a map of this area? Shit, I don't think we do. Oh, no, don't reset the game. Whoa. Wrong button. I was trying to see if I had a map. Oh, there we go. Um, we do, and we don't at the same time. Okay. We're just going to ignore that. Is there a default button for the map? No? I guess not. Okay. Now, see, if we were playing the scenario edition, there would be little ins uh, moments where, like, um, you wouldn't hear any... Oh, excuse me, kind of burped there. That was weird. Where you wouldn't hear any music whatsoever, and that's how you knew the tyrant was coming. So, he's just as hard as, uh, as what's-his-face, his nemesis. I'm just going to deposit all the this stuff. I don't need the shopping just yet, so... Um, we'll store this, too. Okay. And then we'll use this film. And if I remember correctly, this film should show us a picture of Rebecca. Yep, recruit. This is Rebecca Chambers, I, I believe. Yeah, recruit. That's all it says. Why would somebody have a picture of her? That's weird. Also, now that I think about it, if you guys ever played the game Resident Evil Zero with Rebecca Chambers and Billy, Billy something? I don't know his last name, but um, I kind of want to add that to my Let's Players of Resident Evil, so uh, that's another game that I enjoyed. See, I like, I really like Resident Evil, actually. Actually, Resident Evil is a great game, but I feel like Resident Evil is only good up to five. The worst game in the series, I have to say, was Resident Evil 6. I was really saddened and disappointed by that game. A lot of people didn't like Operation Raccoon City, but I actually rather enjoyed that game. It had a very nice apocalyptic feel, and I loved the missions, and I loved the story to it. And it kind of uncovered a, a different side to it that I was able to enjoy. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh, shit. Crack. Probably should be killing them, but hey, whatever. Oh, shit. Well, I guess we have no choice but to kill them now. You guys over here yet? Yeah, they are. I am dead. Stop coming! Okay. Oh, fuck! I thought you were down! You bastard! I'm probably gonna have to take these guys out because I'm gonna have to end up coming back up here again later anyway. Oh, you motherfucker, that hurt. That was awkward. If you guys are hearing a double playback on the audio, it's it's an old game, so you gotta remember that. Okay. So now we're gonna have to take a walk down back to the main lobby, so I'm gonna whip back around. So I'll see you guys at the main lobby. Okay, so we're on our way to the lobby, and I'm only starting this now because spooky stuff's gonna happen. Like, boom. that's not a big deal. They don't do anything to you, so. And yeah, they just grab you, that's it. There's no way they can kill you or anything from that. And that liquor's still gonna be here, oh boy. Oh, oh hi! Eh. They leap at you, it's fucking over. Oh god, it's so fucking freaky! Now we know how the zombies turn and how the zombie dogs turn. I want to know how those fucking things... Well, maybe it's just like an experiment or something, whatever. I don't know. So, here we go. 
So now we gotta get that medallion. Oh, what am I doing? Medallion, thank you. Because we're gonna use it in this main lobby here. key we need. It's a precinct key. I don't know where that's going to take me. Now we're going to go check on this uh, left side up here because this door unlocked as well. Oh wait if I remember there's a shit ton of zombies here. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? Peace out. Fuck that. Nope, it's gonna go through here. That's a lot of zombies here, and I hope it'll take them all out with my... Oh, I could, but that's wasting a lot of ammo. I'll come back when I have my shotgun. Okay. See ya! This guy's obviously alive, because he's looking at me. Don't fool me, motherfucker! Okay. Now, there's a zombie in that room. In this hallway here. I think. Yeah, he's right there. Oh, I don't know if he's actually... If he's dead or not. I don't believe he's. Oh, he's key or something. Okay. Now, I want to say this is another one of my favorite areas because. Listen. I love this. I love this as a kid. I would literally just sit here because I love the sound of hearing those zombies in the distance. It just kind of adds the realism that, like, you know, like it is a zombie apocalypse and you could just hear it. It's not like, oh, just, oh, zombies. Like, it kind of has that horror thing because you can hear them on the distance. It's like nighttime out. It's like kind of vacant. It's just awesome. Now, I don't think we can get to this door up here. I don't know if we have the right key or not, but it doesn't hurt to check. We'll just grab this herb over here. Pick it up! Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's on the inside. Okay, that's what I thought. Even though we could clearly break open the window. No? Okay. Yeah, that's what I would have done. But I guess maybe not because you don't want to make enough noise and etc. Blah, 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 whatever. Now... If I read in that memo, there, there should be a safe in this in this area here. Probably in this room to our left over there, so... What are we doing again? 2, 3, 3, 6? You better be dead. No, you're not dead. Now you dead, boy! Okay, we'll wait for this D-bag to come out. He's just chilling at the door. You bastard. Right, I'll have to run by to get his... Oh! Am I looking down? Yeah, I'm looking down. Which means that guy's still alive. Oh, I swear to God, if he bites me. Okay. Oh, hey, buddy. There is a little, um... I don't know if I want to call it glitch or trick, whatever you want to call it. That if there's... Oh. If the zombies get close enough to you, you can just aim up, but when they get extremely close, it's all about timing, and you can easily shoot their heads off. Now, here's a little hint. If you're... Yeah. If you're near, like, a uh, tight camera angle and you can't tell if there's a zombie around the corner, just kind of back up, and if your character does this animation, you'll know they're there. You gonna get back up? No? Oh. Okay, yeah, no, he's dead. Peace. There's something here I gotta grab. Oh, no. Me no want. Oh look, just one more remaining. Yeah, combine it with a key. That's gonna work, genius. Okay, there's a safe right there. Uh, I think it was two, three, three, six. I don't remember. Nope. Okay, so I gotta go look at the thing again. File. Was it the main door? Yes, it was. Yeah. Two, two, three, six. Okay. I knew that. Three. There we go. 
Shotgun shells and the map. All right. Station maps. Wait. That actually helps us all a lot. So now we can actually look at the map. And we're in that red room there. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so if we're looking at this map and you guys are not sure... Wait, actually, I'm trying to look. Oh, that door I haven't checked yet. I haven't checked that door. Okay. Sorry, I'm just looking at this map here. So we can't go through that door. Alright. So we're not going to worry about this area just yet. Should be something back here as well, I think. Oh, look, another herb. We'll just combine that as well. Okay, so let's get back on track to what we were doing. Um, wait a minute, what was that? I think I can read this memo here, can I? There should be a note thing around here I can read or no. No flank sale. Okay, now I think we're done here. Alright, let's go. Hey guys, yeah, I'm gonna come back with a shotgun later and take these guys up, so I don't wanna waste too much ink on them all. But what hey is the precinct key? I don't remember what we can use it. I think we can use it in this door. No, it's locked from the inside. Okay. Um shit, what's the Shape of a spade. Um, fuck. What, what used a spade key? You know what? I'm pretty sure... Because that key is kind of like a, a, a teal color. So if you look on the left-hand side of that map, that door that's flashing that I haven't opened yet, that's teal. I think I'm just going to go... I never connected this as a kid. I just kind of, like, memorized the, the doors of what needed what, and I went back to it later. But now that I think about it, now that I'm looking at the map, I think those door colors are rather the... The color of the key that I have. We'll find that out in a minute. I'm usually a bit of a neat freak when it comes to my inventory and I try to manage a little bit correctly, but I'm just not gonna worry about it right now. Probably should save because we did a bit, a bit, so. This sucks because I'm gonna have to go. You know what? I'm contemplating if. Eh, fuck it, no. I was contemplating on grabbing my shotgun and go kill the liquor in there, but it's only one. It's not much of a threat, so. And they kind of really... Well, no, they can't one-shot you. Ugh. Ah, you bitch. Yeah, see, I knew it. So the doors go by uh, by colors. So that's right. That'll make it easier to navigate around. Copy machine. Anything in here? Oh, look. An acre with it that I don't need. Okay, so we gotta push this to the end of the thing over here. There's a crank thing up there that we're gonna have to use later. Yep, we'll take that. <clears throat> now we'll go look at the map again. Now that I know that key, so we're on the first floor, the key, uh, the teal key cannot be used for anything on this floor. Second floor, we got to use it on the second floor that we couldn't go through where all those zombies were. Great. Let's go take care of that. No, go the boxes. Yeah. Bye. I don't like anything that can one shot me. It's no thanks. Anything like hunters and liquors, if they can one shot you, you gotta fucking kill their ass quick. But that's only one liquor there, and we're not gonna do too much trafficking in that. Actually, this crank that we just got, we'll be able to use it for the ladder in the main lobby. So once we do that, we won't be using that area that much anyway. That's a diamond, so. Uh, do I have anything I need to put away? Uh, well, no. Uh, should I put it? Contemplating if I should put that crank away. But we're going to be approaching a chest soon anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it. Go that way. Boy, these zombies are still gonna be here. I should have taken them out before. I think it's only one, right? 
No, it's two. You bastard. Is he dead? Okay. No, he's not dead! What the frick? Okay, peace. If you're dead or not, I don't care. I'll leave him. I think once we use it, we won't need the key anymore. There we go. So we don't need that key anymore. This is bad. This is very bad. Oh boy. Come on. Bye. Peace. All those guys are nomming on one on one fucking another dude. Shit, that wasted a lot of ammo. Now this little box up here in the corner, this little thing here, I need a little key for it. But this part, uh, this little desk thing here has parts for uh, Leon's handgun that makes it stronger, or I don't know, not stronger, but I, it allows it to uh, shoot three bullets. So it's a, like the three round burst thing, whatever. I don't know. Ew. Okay, this is our first puzzle we're encountering, but this one isn't that hard. Um, shit. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? We gotta turn it on first, because the lights aren't on, so. Okay, or well, maybe we could just do it from here. Oh, there's a red herb back there. Now we can't do anything because the lights aren't on. This is our first puzzle, guys. Oh, joy. Um, I think it's back here. Oh, yeah. oh my fucking god, that scared the shit out of me. Fuck! <sighs> Don't know why that fucking... Oh my god. <sighs> Fuck, man. Okay, um... This is that and that and that. I'm trying to memorize this. Last one all the way to the right. That's already on the right. Um, oh wow, this is tricky. They're trying to make it seem like it's really hard, but really, I think all you gotta do is you gotta move this over to the right. Or not. Oh wait, that's why. No, nope. here we go. This one all the way in the back. You gotta move this over to the right. No! Oh. Thought I fucked it up. Right. There we go. And that's a spark plug that I don't remember what the hell we use it for. I forget. I want to save from one of the shutters for the doors, but... Oh, the bishop plug. Oh, same fucking thing. That fucking scared the shit out of me when I fell through that door. Damn. Um, alright, map. Where is this going to take me, so... Um, this bottom floor should take me. Is it... There's a door up there too, if I go upstairs. Oh, huh, we'll go upstairs real quick. Now, I don't know if it's this game or Resident Evil 3, I forget, but... I mean, it's pretty easy and simple, it's not that hard, but you want to be careful how you combine your herbs and how you use them. I actually think it's Resident Evil 3 because they have blue herbs, but if you actually um, combine your herbs incorrectly and you try to use them, you'll actually kill yourself. That's right, we can't do anything up here because it's a separate floor, but... I don't know where this takes me, I forget. Get what we do here. Ah, you know what? 
motherfucker. Okay, that's right. We get two cranks, I believe. I don't know, but we'll figure this out. That's right. We can't use that crank anymore. Or can we? Can we? No, we can't use it anymore. Um, I can't remember, but on the main lobby floor, you get you can use a crank to lower the ladder or something. I don't remember. Or you need a crank, but you can choose to come into this room or go through there. Okay, no, because if you look in the middle, we need a, a wheel for that, so it's not going to matter if we push it or not. Iron plated seems to be moved. Okay, so that's a door we can go through. So we got to come back when we get a cob wheel. I don't remember where we can find it at. Okay. Back we go. Downstairs, and we'll go through that door, which will take us to the main lobby. Through here. Ah, oh, shit, zombies. Hi! No, oh, don't run into him! Is there anything down here that I need to grab? Oh, shit, I fucked myself again. Damn it. Still shooting because there's another zombie back there. Okay. Yeah, that guy's went down. Hi. Or maybe we don't need the. Okay. I thought we need the 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 crank for that, but we don't. So we're good. And there we go. Now we have a easy little. Ah, oh, shit. Hi. Shortcut to get around. Start running by zombies! Damn it! There we go. It's a safe room! Oh, there's a key over there. Ah! I can use this for Leon's, uh. You know what? I might go back and get it actually, now that I think about it. We have another memo here. Secretary's Diary, April 16th. I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leaned against it. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off, screaming at me never to touch the statue again. If it's important, then maybe he shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. I heard that all the art pieces from the chief's collection are rare items, literally worth hundreds and thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the bigger mystery, where he finds these tacky things or where he's getting the money to pay for them. I wasn't surprised to see the chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time it was a really disturbing painting, painting depicting a nude person being hanged. I was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at the painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is... Yeah, that's... I agree. Ugh. Okay. Um... I don't know if we could use this for anything just yet, so I'm not gonna use it, but... Um... Should be okay for now. Okay. So, I'm gonna save it. Um, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get Leon's upgrade. What's going on, guys? We're back. Okay, so I just went out to grab Leon's stuff. So, here are the gun parts here. Okay, so they look like parts for a gun, obviously. So, now we just combine it with Leon's gun. And bam! And we can change it to auto or manual. But I think it's auto right now. Now, the thing you want to be careful about this is... Um, it also changed the look of it, too. As you can see, it's on his his arm here pretty big for some weird reason but you want to be careful because it does shoot three rounds oh wait hold on turn it to auto. Now it's auto. 
Okay, so does shoot three rounds. What the fuck? It's not. Dude, that's weird. Hold on. Oh, the audio's being weird. There we go. Forgot you had to hold the button down. So yeah, it shoots three rounds. So you want to be careful because it will consume ammo quickly. But it's more of just like to help you clear rooms faster. But actually, since I'm out of ammo, I should probably bring my shotgun with me. Shotgun. Okay. I'm not going to take any ammo just for... I don't want to use it. And I want to conserve space. Oh boy. Hello. Yeah, look at that shit, son. Oh, we missed it. Oh, fuck. That scared the shit out of me. Fuck. Damn. Oh, fuck, that scared me. But, uh, we missed the cutscene to see the... the helicopter fall. Oh, I'm getting away from you. You're a burning zombie. Probably switch the shotgun now. Okay. Oh, we missed the cutscene. Actually, cats, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing, because there would have been liquors here if that was a case. Oh, we can unlock this now. There we go. So that leads on to the, um, to the room downstairs where we did the lock. Oh, no! No! Oh, run away! I hate crows. Okay, so, okay, we gotta turn the, the valve for the... Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, we need the wheel for this. Okay, the crank wouldn't have worked for that anyway. We need a cog wheel for that. Not a cog wheel, but a... A wheel, you know what I mean. Going down the stairs. Oh, no, I think this is where we encounter dogs. Or not. Oh, okay, we're good. I'm just gonna run away! Let's try not to waste too much ammo because these zombies are easy to pass by. Okay, what do we got here? Nothing special. You're not special. Nothing over here? Okay. There he is. This is what we gotta use to uh, douse the flames on that uh, helicopter. There we go. I'll take this ammo. Thank ya. There's a nudie lady there. Just notice that. All right. Bye, nu bye, nudie lady. Save that real quick. Okay. Can I go through here? Yes, I can. Oh boy. Uh oh. I knew it! I knew this was, was his door! Shit. Okay, this is not gonna lead, lead us anywhere, actually. Um, hold on. Yeah, it says we can go through that door, but. When you go to it a second time, he's gonna be like, I don't wanna open it because like, there's zombies and shit, so. Yeah, this is it in here, so. Peace! Don't hit me. Um, where that zombie's standing on my left here? I, can, I think there's ammo in here to pick up, I don't know. No? No, okay, bye. Hi, pretty lady. Bye, pretty lady. Okay, now we can douse the helicopter. We can get something in pole in here. Okay, so now we gotta use that. There we go. Sweet. Now that does douse the fire on the inside where, uh... Do we still keep that? Oh, we do still keep that. Yeah, we're gonna need that later on. Not anytime soon, though. Okay. Just bullets! What?! Oh, because we were meant to douse it for the inside. Okay. We gotta go through the crows now. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna run by this. Fuck it. 
Nope, I don't want any. Crows are actually really easy to avoid because they actually have an animation where they actually have to fly to you. Oops. Oh, there's a burning zombie here. Is he? Hi! Okay, no, I'm not gonna... Well, maybe. Let's see if I can do this little uh, thing here. Aim up. Alright, wait. Get close. Oh, no! Get close. Get really close to me. Why can't I? Oh, I'm having trouble. There we go. Closer. I need you to get closer, buddy. I'm not gonna get closer to you. I'm not gonna fall for that. What the fuck? He can't get me! Let's see if it works. Oh, it works! That's what I was looking at. Yeah, you did. You hit this motherfucker. We go through this door now. Don't tell me there's a liquor here. Oh, you know what I need? I need the jewels for this. Okay, Rain has to be revised with two lights, so I need the jewels for this. We're gonna put it on that, so. Something over here. Oh, it's a precinct key, and it has a, a diamond. So we're gonna look at that. Alright. Alright, guys, so we're gonna continue this on the next episode for this. So, anyway, thank you guys again for watching this. Be sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Arizona! Okay, these guys don't want to take it because this is gonna be like a freaking traffic thing that I'm gonna be going through this, so. Ah! She wanted the D! She wanted my leg!